I am from Sokoto State. Let me first take this Lord time allocated to us. Mr. Speaker, I rise with all sons of responsibility. First, as a human being. Second, as a parliamentarian. And above all, as a Muslim who believe in resurrection and day of judgment. Most of our colleagues have spoken very well. They have expressed their concern and sympathy. I share everything that was said by everyone here. I would like to remind ourselves here, this is not the first, second, or third time that issues of this nature have been brought before us. We always believe it. We pass resolutions. We set up committees. And until now, there has not been any relief. There has not been anything achieved to overcome the problems associated with the issues of insecurity in this country. From Binwe of recent to Taraba in the last time, to Zampara, to Kaduna, to all every other part of Nigeria, the country is not secured. I don't know anywhere where you can travel 100 kilometers without being afraid of either being killed or kidnapped. Here in this hallowed chamber, we have invited all the security apparatus chiefs. They told us all sorts of stories. They said they were on top of the situation. Mr. Speaker, it is time. With due respect to you, I want to remind you, you are here for the last three years having a most successful tenure as a speaker. Till today, you are respected by everyone of us, regardless of party affiliation, regardless of geopolitical uh, uh, location, regardless of religious sentiments. You must do something for yourself and for us here. Very soon, in the next one year, we may not be here. I may not be here. You may not be there. Many of us may not be here. For those that will come back, let them come back with a heart that is gladdened. Today, we are sad. People outside laugh at us. Every time we send invitation to chief executives of this minister and um, uh, security apparatus, they came here just because they want to be seen, they came to us. One, they hold vital information. They don't tell us what we are supposed to know. They choose what they should share with us. Under the guise of security matters should not be discussed in public. Are we in public? Are we not in Nigeria? Who appropriate funds to them? And until now, we have not done anything to any of them. In the recent past, the IG was summoned by our sister chamber, the Senate. He refused to come twice. What has done to, have been done to him? I do not share whatever Dino Malai stands for, but I share what was done to him as a senator yesterday being brutalized. I'm not holding forth for him. He is my colleague, he was my friend when we were here, but I do not share whatever he has done but I wasn't happy with the way he was manhandled. If we have policemen that will go and arrest one serving senator because of an allegation with the force they deployed on him, and we are seated here, people are being killed in every part of this country, and yet we never slashed their allocations and budgetary allocations. Everything they brought here, every member here will be there. No, it's security matters. Don't touch it. Why shouldn't you touch it? We have more powers than them. They only have the power of the gun. Today, even criminals have the power of the gun. If they are powerful, let them go and pay the criminals. Let them show their power on them, not on us, and not on the in, uh, in innocent citizens. History will not forgive us. We come, we saw, we go. Or we come, we saw, and left. What, shall we, what should we do now? It is on you, as our leader. Exercise the mandate we give you. Exercise the powers the Constitution gave you. Or gave all of us. Don't just sit down there. Nay and yea will not solve this issue. We must find a solution to it. And what should be the solution? Let us be proactive. 
is beyond just passing a resolution and saying this should be committed or referred to committee on internal security or committee on army or police. No. Something serious must be done and solution must be found. We should not be just sitting here, everybody is sitting in the comfort of his office and telling us he has something that he cannot divulge. Why can't he divulge? There are certain questions I want to ask Mr. Speaker and find answers for us. One, in the last killing in Binway, the president visited Binway State. The governor told the, the president that the IG he ordered to go and relocate to Binway State was there only for a day. The president said he wasn't aware the IG went there only for a day. And later, the IG came back here in Abuja and granted a press uh, release that he has been there and moved to Nasrallah State. There was also cases in Nasrallah State. Out of these three, one must be lying. It is either the governor lied to the president, or the president lied to the nation, or the IG lied to the president. I want to believe the IG lied. But what has the president done? The IG is still there. How long will you continue to condone this kind of sins? If we continue in this direction, tomorrow, if hoodlums attack us here, who will save us? I'm not ready to die in this chamber. I won't die in my home. But I'm ready to die defending the life of innocence. So, Mr. Speaker, why you saw me insisting I won't speak is because I want us to be proactive and we have to change our approach. Honorable colleagues, I share and support this motion. I want everybody to share and support it as it was narrated to us. Thank you very much.